Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Art 6. This is Quarter 1, Arts and Computer. Lesson number 6, Ideas about Logo. In this lesson, you will know what are the types of logo. A logo is an image that symbolizes your business. Though they are all combinations of letters and images, each type of logo gives your brand a different feel. You will know the ideas about logo design. A logo can be described as the face of a company. It is much more than just an image. It is a point of recognition for clients and an important foundation for branding of your company. A well-designed logo is an easy way to convey to potential customers that your business is professional, trustworthy, and provides quality goods or services. Learning task number one. Write check if the statement is correct and X if it is not. Write the answer in your notebook. Question number one. Logo should be appropriate to your product or services offered. Number two, colorful and has many effects logo is the most effective. Number three, a logo must be clear and easy to recognize. Four, successful logo is known by anyone. Five, detail of a logo are not important. Here are the answers. Number one. Check. Logo should be appropriate to your product or services offered. Number two. Check. Colorful and as many effects logo is the most effective. Three. A logo must be clear and easy to recognize. Four. Check. Successful logo is known by anyone. And 5x, detail of a logo are not important. Learning task number 2. Draw check if the description matches to the type of logo it refers to and x if it is not. Write your answer in your notebook. Question number 1. Mascots involve an illustrated character. Number 2. Monogram logos are icon or graphic-based logo. Number three, combination mark consists of letters only. Number four, emblem are badges, seals, and crest. And number five, word marks are font-based logo. Here are the answers. Number one, mascots involve an illustrated character. Check. Number two, monogram logos or icon or graphic-based logo. X. Number three, combination mark consists of letters only. X. Number four, emblem or badges, seals, and crest. Check. And number five, word marks or font based logo. Check. Logo is a combination of text and visual imagery that serves two purposes. It tells people the name of the company and it creates a visual symbol that represents your business. Some logos have powerful symbolic associations connected to people's memory. Seven types of logo. Number one, monogram logos or letter marks. Monogram logos are logos that consist of letters, usually brand initials. Number two, word marks or logotypes. Word marks is a font based logo that focuses on a business name alone. 
Number three, pictorial marks or logo symbols. Pictorial marks is an icon or graphic-based logo. Number four, abstract logo marks. Abstract logo marks condenses your brand into a single images. It also allows you to create something truly unique to represent your brand. Five, mascot. Mascot are logos that involve an illustrated characters. Number six, combination mark. Combination mark is a logo comprised of a combined word mark or letter mark and pictorial mark. Abstract, mark, or mascot. Number seven, emblem. Emblem consists of font inside a symbol or an icon. Think badges, seals, and crest. Logo design ideas for designers. A logo is the best representation of any brand or business. It's not just a random image. It's the very symbol that reminds people who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. Here are the key factors in creating a logo. Number one, relevant, appropriate. Number two, describable, legible. Number three, memorable, timeless. Number four, Effective without color. And number five, scalable, versatile. Number one, relevant or appropriate. Your logo should be an appropriate reflection of your industry suitable for its intended audience. Number two, describable or legible. Provide solid version of your logo without excess effects. A logo has clear lines that the viewer can identify before losing interest into complex artistry. Number three, memorable or timeless. Your logo is useless if your target market can't remember it. That's why a simple original design is most effective. Number four, effective without color. Prepare black and white version of your logo. This is not only ensuring your logo is readable and effective in black and white. Print ads, but it's also important for certain promotional supplies where your logo can only be one color. Number five, scalable or versatile. Logos should be simple and easy to reproduce across a variety of media and applications. Sketching. Sketching is a favorite way for graphic designers to come up with some quick and unique ideas. This way, the designers know what is in their mind regarding a particular subject. These instant sketches are different design concepts which can be developed into a complete logo design. Start off with a pencil sketch. In the beginning stages, don't press down too hard. Use light, smooth strokes for sketching. Look at the picture. Finest Selection Coffee. What can you say about the picture? Can you make it by hand or digital? Do you want to learn how to do it? When it comes to designing a logo, there's hardly a more convenient program for amateurs than MS Word. By combining different shapes and words, you can end up with a pretty good corporate design. How to create a logo in MS Word? 
Number one, start MS Word. For the purpose of this article, we'll be using the 2016 version of the program. For more convenience, add a grid that will help you align the elements of your future logo. Number two, create a new document. Then go to the View tab and check the grid line box. Check the ruler and grid lines. Number three, now go to the Insert tab and add a circle to your canvas. Insert, then choose Shapes. Four, now select the background color. For our logo, we've changed the default color blue to black. Five, now you need to create a copy of the circle. Click on the circle with the right mouse button and select copy. Make the second circle slightly smaller than the original one. To put the smaller circle above the bigger one, move it with a cursor. Click on the inner circle and make its borderline thicker. Change the color of the stroke line to white. If your emblem has no borderline, you can easily add it in setting. Number 6. By using the Insert tool, add two parallel horizontal lines to your logo. Number 7. The next step is to add your company name by using the text tool. You can type the text either inside or outside the circle, whichever option you find more convenient. Let's add the text inside the circle. Number 8. By using the text tool, customize the font of your brand name. Plus, make sure the color of your text go well with your icon. Number 9. Don't forget to choose a transparent background for your text and remove the borderline. Number 10. As we're creating a logo for a coffee business, we need to draw a coffee-related item under the brand name. By using the Paste tool, add the geometric shapes that will help you depict a nice coffee cup. Number 11. To give a refined feel to the cup, add a curve line under the text. Number 12. Select all logo elements and click on group. If you need to move emblem, it move in one piece with each element staying in its place. Number 13. Done. As you can see, Microsoft Word offers enough design features to craft a neat emblem. Learning task number three. Select from the given activities what will you prefer to do or available to you. If you are using the Microsoft Office software, have it print and submit your output. Handmade logo making. What do you need? 1. Pan paper, 2. Pencils, 3. Ruler, number 4. Crayons or color pencils. Theme. Create your logo for your desired business. What to do? Number 1. Look for an object that best describes your product. Number 2. Imagine a word and symbol or logo you want to make. Number three, using a pencil, draw your logo on a bond paper. Number four, be sure to use art skills learned in logo making. Number five, ink your work by covering all pencil marks on the shape. Erase guidelines or unnecessary lines.
Number six, color your work using any color media you have. And number seven, finish your artwork on time. Logo making using Microsoft application. Same, create your logo for your desired business. Number one, make a logo design that will represent your product. Number two, the art skills in logo making should be visible to the design. Number three, ask someone or a member of your family to give suggestion for your design. Number four, finalize your work based from their suggestion. Number five, finish your output on time and print it out. Learning task number four. A. Creating logo design using pixel. Materials. Graphing papers, pencils, colored pencils. Rules in creating pixel art by hand. One. One box, one color. Number two. There is no half colored boxes. Number three. Curves are interpreted like stairs. Number four, to achieve shadow or color transition, use one color lighter or darker. Rules in creating pixel art by hand. Example. Number one, create a logo design using pixel for yourself. Number two, be sure to convey your personality on your image. Number three, follow the steps in creating a pixel art by hand. Learning task number four, letter B. Read the statement carefully. Write true if the statement is true and false if it is not. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one. Mascot logos are logos that involve an illustrated character. Right, true or false? Number two, monogram logos or letter marks are logos that consist of words. Number three, a school logo is an example of emblem. Number four, pictorial marks or logo symbols or icon or graphic based logos. Number five, abstract logo marks compress your brand into multiple image. Number six, seals, badges, and crest are example of mascots. Number seven, combination mark is consist of letter marks only. Number eight, Woodmark's logo is also called font-based logo. Number nine, Mascot allows you to create something truly unique or represent your brand. Number ten, Woodmark logos are logos consist of an icon or graphic. Here are the answers. Number one. True. Number two. True. Number three. True. Number four. True. And number five. False. Number six. False. Number seven. False. Number eight. True. Number 9, false. And number 10, false. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.